Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how we're going to put some of the watercolor down on our skeleton drawings. Um, hopefully you have your watercolors um, and you're probably going to need a cup of water. And I always like to have a paper towel um, just to, sometimes we need to take a little water off the brush and that does the trick. So if you don't have a paper towel and you're at home, just a, you know, a regular towel or a napkin or anything that, you know, you can use to just clean off your brush or take some of the water off. So uh, this is not going to be um, uh, sort of a real in-depth tutorial on watercolors. We're going to do a project where we get far, you know, more into doing an actual watercolor painting. Um, but this will just sort of work for what we're trying to do. Um, so I have one that has been started and I've got my skeleton drawn and I've chosen uh, sort of two color groups. Um, I went with warm and cool. Um, the skeleton is going to be warm colors, the background cool, so sort of separating our positive and negative space. Um, you can pick sort of any color groupings you want. Um, you don't want them too similar. Um, you know, I don't think you would want a, you know, a, a yellow skeleton and an orange background. That might be a little too similar. So as long as you're, you can sort of separate the two spaces, positive and negative, you, you can go with any colors that you want. So I'm just going to show you real quick on a piece of paper the two ways that you could do sort of adding the color. Um, when we work with watercolor, one of the ways that we uh, sort of apply the paint is what we call wet on dry. So we'll have the wet paint and dry paper. So you just get a little bit of your water. Uh, we'll go with some cool colors for this example. Put some water in there to loosen up the pigment. Now, you can change the value or the lightness or darkness of this color by adding water. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So take some water, really loosen that up. Now, this is going to be a really dark blue. Um, and the wet on dry lets me just, I can paint a section. It's like any other paint. Um, I can drag that out to sort of get a little bit of a value scale. If I would like to lighten up the color, what you can do is usually on the extra spot or on a little sort of plate or something else, you can add water. So if I wanted to get a lighter blue, I would take some of the blue, put it here, and then instead of adding white, you add water and that would lighten up your color. So if you wanted to make, sort of do that, <clears throat> excuse me, the wet on dry, but have it be a lighter blue, you can sort of lighten it up and it'll give you a lighter blue color. So that's the first option is to sort of, like I said, the wet paint on dry, we call it wet on dry. So your other option is wet on wet. Now, probably want a clean thing of water, but this will work for what we're doing. And we basically are going to put a real thin layer of water on our paper, real blue tint to that. And what that lets us do is when we then take a color this is called wet on wet, wet paint on wet paper. And sometimes you can just touch it in there and it'll sort of hit and spread like that. And people tend to really kind of like the look of that. And then you can come in and add a different thing. Let's see, get some purple in there. Take some water if you'd like to sort of spread some of that out. So you have to be careful with this. It's very easy to sort of create kind of a, a mud look um, if you mix it all together too much. So sort of be careful with that. Um, but all of these will sort of work the same way if you want to, you know, if you were to choose some lighter, warmer colors, you have your sort of your wet on dry. also can do sort of the wet on wet with those as well. So a lot of different options. Um, let me bring this a little closer. As you can see a few different looks to it. There's sort of my example once it's dry. What's nice is it, no matter what you do, even if you know the example I'm showing you here is a wet on wet that I did, now it's dry. So I could actually go and take 
paint and do sort of the wet on dry since it's dry I could take other colors and you know go over this again if I wanted to I tend to like it the way it is um, so I think I'd probably leave it but that's certainly up to you as the artist when you're working on yours so I hope this helps let me know if you have any questions uh, and have fun uh, we've got a, hopefully a couple pieces of paper I sent home with you so if you make a mistake don't worry just try it again and make a mistake after that we'll see you soon and get you more paper so good luck have fun and let me know if you have any questions.